What is up, Fight Fans? Let's be real. We are about to enter the make or break realm. When it's all said and done, when the dust is settled, the thing that's going to matter more than anything is gameplay. And that's what this video is gonna be about. I'm Edward, and you're watching Boxing Fanatico. Guys, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. If you're a true boxing uh, video game fan, this is the tipping point or the, the, the turning point or the fork in the road, if you will, in terms of stepping away from this game or stepping fully into what this game is going to be. Now, the gameplay trailer will be releasing this week. It has not released yet. We do know things about the gameplay that they have been revealing in the past months. We know that they are super dedicated to gameplay. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. First of all, we don't have to wait long to know what, what to expect. It's about to come out. It's, it's going to be here soon. We're going to see the gameplay trailer. Even if it's in a cinematic way. If it's a gameplay trailer and we could see the locomotion of the characters, we can get a gist or a feel for what what's that gonna for what that's gonna be like. Of course, the best thing that we can get is someone literally just playing it. Like just a snippet of two minutes of two people going at it in the game. No special camera angles or anything like that. That's what I would prefer. Uh, or maybe, you know, have little splices of those, you know, snippets of people playing in the normal camera angle that you'll be playing in if you play the game. But they might not do that. They might give us a, a, a sizzle reel of gameplay. So at the most, we could expect how the hit detection is going to look like. Or how, how the hit animation is going to look like. Or how the contact uh, is going to portray itself in game we could at least get that get the locomotion the smoothness of the game the community manager has been on his toes posting a lot on uh, twitter which is great one thing that he mentioned uh was somebody asked please don't let the uh the movements be jerky and let it be smooth and his reply was all we know is hashtag move like a butterfly hashtag sting like a bee which is amazing because he's insinuating that the movements are organic are smooth are 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 natural and not jerky which is tough to do if you think about it because with boxing and throwing combinations and everything like that but i do want to touch on one thing when i'm when i'm going through twitter and i'm looking at all of the esports boxing club stuff and and of course people are antsy and they just want that gameplay trailer trust me i do too I'm noticing that people are literally saying this better be like Fight Night. If it's not like Fight Night, it's a fail. If I don't get Fight Night, if I don't get Fight Night, it's a pass. Fight Night this, Fight Night that. First of all, <laughs> you guys do know that you're setting the bar incredibly low for Steel City Interactive and Esports Boxing Club. If you're thinking that this game better be like a game that's 10 years old. I can tell you right off the bat that the technology that we have right now, in terms of memory, which means that they can put more elements into the game, in terms of animation, graphics, hit detection, all of those technological things has been advanced tenfold since 2011 when we got Fight Night Champions. So even though it's an indie company, they can easily surpass Fight Night. And here's another thing. We hold Fight Night way too high. The we hold it in too high of a regard because we had nothing else. There was no other competition, and that's all we had for years. And even in multiple iterations, there weren't really competitors. And if there were a competitor, 
it was arcade-ish, like, let's get ready to rumble, or it was a, a an abysmal failure. But let's not forget, everybody keeps saying, yo, can 2K make a boxing game? No, can 2K not make a boxing game? They gave us Don King's prize fighting, which was atrocious. So please stop measuring this gameplay up to, to fight night and putting the bar all the way to the floor. I could care less about it being like fight night I'm expecting it to be way better than Fight Night. Like, I honestly expect it to be way better than Fight Night in locomotion, hit detection, gameplay, control, everything. Because we've had 10 years. It doesn't matter if it's an indie company. It doesn't matter if it's not an indie company or a AAA company. You also have to understand the uniqueness of creating a boxing game. They're not creating Grand Theft Auto. They're not creating Spider-Man or Halo or... A, 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 a NBA game where there's so many different dynamics is really funneled to a focused two competitors fighting each other. They have so much they can do technology wise because of the advantage of what boxing is at its roots. It's just two combatants fighting. They don't have to worry about putting multiple characters on screen. They don't have to be worried about moving a ball around and creating real physics for that. They don't have to be worried about rendering multiple buildings in real time as you go through the world like you're playing Spider-Man or something. They don't have to be worried about any of that. That's why Fight Night would be leading in graphical fidelity back in the past because they had the memory span to do those things. They had so much that they can work with because there were so little to the actual dynamics of boxing in terms of putting character models on there and doing these different things. So it doesn't have to be a AAA company that takes this game to make it great. Anybody, anybody with passion and a decent team, just a decent financial backing can make a phenomenal boxing game. It's not that hard in terms of memory in terms of how what they're going to do with memory now it's up to them to skillfully interlace all of these things so that it looks simulation but one more thing i'm gonna say about fight night stop praising fight night i loved it in its time i still play it now because it's all we had so stop giving fight night so much credit i love it because it was all we had but it was incredibly flawed it was rk sim at best and actually really truly just an arcade fighting game i mean when they were up for awards they weren't even up for sport awards they was always up for fighting awards in terms of in terms of the video game awards that they got stop holding fight night in a high regard stop telling uh esports boxing club you gotta make fight night make fight night no don't make fight night absolutely do not make fight night be better with the amount of years that we've had, with the technology that we have, with the passion and the singular focus, not having so much on your plate, not having this large conglomerate business just standing over your shoulders, making sure you cut this out and cut that out. Because they might not even be boxing fans, but they care about putting some other stupid thing that us as real boxing fans don't care about. Stop. Forget fight night. Now, what do we know from them in terms of gameplay that we should expect from this game. We know that the game is a boxing simulation and that is what they're working towards. They're working towards boxing simulation and it is very apparent in everything that they do. The fact that they have real gyms instead of fake gyms, the fact that they have authentic belts, uh, WBC, Fight Night didn't even have these things. The fact that they're doing all of this shows that they're moving towards simulation. So we already have a simulation atmosphere to begin with, which means they're probably going to want this game to be very lifelike and realistic. Think of any game that you know that tries to shoot for simulation. What they try to do is make it real. They try to simulate what it actually is. So we know that they're doing simulation. We know that they spent their entire first year simply working on the game mechanics. So just that alone lets you know what they're prioritizing. They were able to pull out a really good partnership with 1024 that focuses on the graphics and animation and their world leading in the industry for those kind of things. They were able to partner with them, so now they're good on that front. But for their first year, they were working on 
the gameplay mechanics of this game. And we know from multiple interviews, even the interview that I did with Ash Abib, that their number one focus is on fighter styles and movements. So we're already, so we are already painting a picture that they're trying to go for realism. So yes, the gameplay trailer hasn't come out yet. We should, as of now, it hasn't come out yet. We should be expecting it anytime this week. But I'm, but I don't want to hold them to a, such a low standard. I don't. I don't want to hold them to the lowest standard possible. Be like Fight Night. That is a horrific. You might be comfortable playing Fight Night. You might really like Fight Night, whatever it is. But they can do much better than Fight Night. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what to expect. But the sense that I get from this team is that, is that there is a passion behind boxing like we've never seen before with game developers who are making this boxing game. That I can sense. That I can feel. And if that passion oozes into the game mechanics, into the creativity of this game, into the visuals, into everything, if it oozes in there, we're going to probably have a game that we can play for years to come. And, and I'll be 100% honest with you guys. I will never look back to Fight Night if this game can pull it off. Now we are patiently, uh, and I use that term very loosely, anticipating this gameplay. Uh, but once we get this gameplay, I feel that this will be the fork in the road for Steel City Interactive. This will literally let us know what to expect. It is the make or break. So, you know, I really hope that they land, they stick the landing. They've been doing these amazing cartwheels and amazing backflips and off the pole and, and, and everything. But then they have to land at one point. I think this week is the landing. If they could stick the landing, the sky's the limit. All we would really need to know is how the latency feels and how the controller dynamic feels, which I think that they're going to explain in a developer's blog right alongside the, the gameplay trailer. So they're probably going to start breaking it down. We're probably going to get a massive amount of content, which is why they were holding all gameplay information close to the chest. Even when I interviewed them or anyone else interviewed them, they were holding it close to the chest because they're about to reveal what we can expect from it. But if they stick this landing, which, like I said, I don't know if they will, but I can tell that there's a lot of passion going on uh, into this game. And if they stick that landing, guys, I never wanna hear about Fight Night ever again because we have moved into a new generation. We have moved into a new console generation, a new gameplay generation, a new physics-based generation, and a new boxing game generation spearheaded by eSports boxing club i wanted to give my thoughts on this because i saw so many people talking about the gameplay and and what it's going to be and people worried about it and and what and people wanting it to be like fight night i just wanted to give my opinion out there let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below if you haven't yet uh please hit that subscribe button please hit that notification bell and hit all notifications because as soon as this gameplay trailer comes out i will do a live reaction recording and also break down the gameplay trailer and all of the information that comes along with it and i'll be doing that as soon as they drop their trailer so i'll see you next time guys this is edward from boxing fanatico i'm out